What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zur is back and we're officially on week one of year two of Destiny and we're back at the tower, Zur is on the bottom section where the Crucible guys hang out and he's right here on the left, I believe this is the original spot that he was in on the very first week of Destiny when the f game first came out, so let's check him out. So here we go, here's his inventory for the first week of year two, kind of a letdown in my opinion, uh, but let's get into it. So first up for the Titan, we have the Helm of Inmost Light, and the stat values are a little bit changed because they toned down the numbers, so um, I can't really tell what the best stat rolls are anymore because I'm not sure with the changed numbers, but you probably can go look it up, people have probably calculated it already, but the special perk on this one is... Provide Death from Above and Headstrong for Fist of Havoc. Pretty average helmet. I'd go ahead and pass on this. For the Hunter, we have the Celestial Nighthawk helmet from House of Wolves with Intellect on it. And the special perk on this one is Golden Gun Fires One Shot, delivering six times damage and granting Keyhole for Over Penetration. Pretty decent in PvE for Golden Gun, but overall, um, that's pretty much the only use you can use for it. Um, so it's kind of an average okay one. Pretty cool looking helmet though. I like this one a lot in terms of the look of it. And then for the Warlock, we have the Apotheosis Veil. And this one has the special perk, activating your super regenerates your health. So pretty decent helmet, really good in the Crotozen raid and possibly in other PvE encounters coming out in the next year with the Taken King. Um, I believe all of these do have a year two version coming at least eventually. I know some of these don't have one right now if you look at the exotic blueprints um, further down the hall, but I believe all of them, after looking at the database, will have a year two version eventually. And then for the weapon, we have the No Land Beyond Exotic Sniper Rifle. Uh, pretty decent sniper rifle sometimes if you have a really good shot with it. Um, the perk on this is this um, increased precision damage and kills briefly increased damage against the next target. So it's not very good in PvE, but if in PvP, if you have a good shot, it can be a pretty good sniper rifle. Um, you just have to handle the animation and the reload um, with the canceling of the reload and stuff. So it's pretty good in PvP. And then for the engram, we have the chess engram. Um, I believe if you buy one now, you will not get a Taken King uh, exotic from it if you save it for next week. So next week when Zer comes will be the first time that we can get exotics from the engram that he sells. So don't buy some now and save it because you will not get one uh, until next week. And then finally, I wanted to point out this right here. Zer selling heavy ammo synthesis for... One strange coin for three heavy ammo synthesis, and I believe in year one it was five for one strange coin. So this guy is getting pretty pretty stingy, I guess, going into year two, especially after we've been such loyal customers to him for a full year buying all his exotics, all his synthesis, all his other stuff that he sold. And uh, yeah, so he lowered the amount of heavy ammo synthesis per strange coin. And he's getting more expensive as we head into year two. One thing that I wanted to point out. But yeah, so next week we're going to have a better Zer, hopefully with new exotics. Um, taking King exotics. And uh, he's probably going to be selling that new consumable, the three of coins. Uh, so you can go pick that up. And then the engram that he's selling next week will also be able to yield a Taking King exotic as well. So... That's about it for this week, Zero. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.